Dear potential MMO developers, I'm sure you're aware by now of the train wreck known as Bless Online. This game will go down in history as one of the biggest disasters of MMO launches. It broke records, being Steam's most disliked game in under 24 hours. There were so many people requesting refunds, it got to the point where Valve decided to abolish their 2 hour limit rule and just let everyone get refunded regardless of their time played. This was due to incredibly poor optimization, disgusting laziness and lack of care from the development team, and a game that was not ready to be released being released anyways. Because of all of this, the game has dwindled in popularity and population faster than any game I have ever seen in my life. But. From the wake of all this devastation, there's a lot to take from this, a lot to analyze, a lot to learn. The largest aspect about this entire fiasco that needs to be noted is that Bless had a very, very, very large amount of potential. Not the game itself exactly, but its popularity. It was being viewed by over 150,000 people on Twitch on launch day, being streamed by some of the world's most popular streamers. The game had so many eyes on it and so many players that bought into it. There's no way to prove how many players were online on day one of Bless, but it's safe to assume there was well over 50,000 people. That's at least 50,000 people who spent at least $40 just to play an early access title that they didn't even know would be good. That's minimum $2 million in revenue at the absolute lowest, and if the game had been worth a damn, it would have been much, much more than that. If the game had received even decent reviews from the start, it would have inspired so many more people who were hesitant to purchase it to do so. The game's profit margins would have quintupled at the least, and it would have all happened for a game that didn't have anything revolutionary going for it. So... What was it that people were so into about Bliss? Was it the fact that it was new? Maybe. Maybe not. We've seen our fair share of new MMO releases in these past few years, but not since Black Desert have I seen so much hype for an MMO. While Black Desert has lost its initial hype, I can still say that there were a lot of reasons to be hyped for that game before it came out. Bless, on the other hand, was literally just an MMO that did not have anything going for it that would be considered groundbreaking or revolutionary. The combat was minimalistic, the graphics outdated, the world bland, and the classes unoriginal. So what was it about Bless that drew people into this game? I think it was a combination of things. I think it was the game's focus on combining both PvP and PvE elements, encouraging players to participate in both to progress their characters. I think it was also the emphasis on the variety of gameplay options, catering to multiple different people and their preferred playstyles in an MMO. I think it was that the development team's emphasis on not having pay to win in their cash shop and letting the players play a game fairly without relying on their wallets. I think it was the desperation of the MMO community, a cry for something to do, a game that would be the MMO that we all wanted it to be. Truth is, I think that all of these things is why the MMO community believed in Bless, if only for a short while. And if you have a competent development team, the MMO community will believe in you too. The MMO community has the potential to be one of the most profitable markets in the gaming industry. Granted, the MMO they receive is of a respectable quality. Bless has proven that it doesn't have to be revolutionary. Bless has proven that it doesn't have to be new. Bless has proven that it doesn't even have to be a masterpiece. Bless has proven that it just needs to be all right. It just needs to run smoothly on the machines it says it will run smoothly on. It just needs to have proper translations. It just needs to have a proper QA team to deal with the issues before it launches. It just needs to have a decent game and you will make millions. Bless has proven that, there is no question. I would love for an MMO to come out that it could encapsulate the things mentioned in this video and not make me feel like an asshole for playing it and I really don't think I'm alone in this. I wish I knew anything about coding or software development, but I don't. I wish I knew about the business side of MMOs and how much time and assets are required to produce something of this nature, but I don't. I wish I knew the future of what this genre has to offer, but I don't. The only thing I do know is that this genre and its fan base are in dire need of a savior. And if you are watching this video with MMO development in mind, please look at Bless as an inspiration to you. Many people say that the MMO genre is not profitable, that the fan base for it is dead. Well, Bless just proved that the MMO community is not dead, it's very much alive, it's just dormant, waiting for the game to come that will finally manage to meet our pathetically low standards.